Versatile all-around working dog with big heart. That is what comes to my mind when someone mentions the black mouth cur. In this video I will tell you everything you need to know about this unique dog breed. Quick quiz before the video, which one of these three dogs is not a black mouth cur? Type your tip to the comments and watch the video to find out the correct answer. I would also love to thank Lisa and Stella who let me use their photos. You should definitely go and check out their Instagram if you are interested in this breed and you would love to see more black mouth curs. The black mouth cur is medium sized dog with powerful athletic and agile body and it makes sense since these dogs are bred for stamina so they can work for long periods of time. The minimum male size is 18 inches and 50 pounds which is 46 and 23 kilograms. Females are a little bit smaller with minimum height of 16 inches or 41 centimeters and weight over 35 pounds which is 16 kilograms. The breed is called black mouth cur, so you would probably expect that they will always have the black mask. But that is not true, they can be with or without it. But even though the dogs without the black mask are allowed, they are not preferred. The rest of the body can be in almost any color. Most common are shades of red, yellow and fawn, brown and black. It's not uncommon for them to have little white spots around the nose or on the chest or legs. The coat is lying close to the body and it's dense and short. The medium sized ears are hanging and the tail, well the tail length can vary a lot from long, medium, bob tail to even none at all. A lot of times the black mouth cur have dog's tails and webbed feet. The black mouth cur is the ultimate working dog. Not only that they have the physical strength, they are also very versatile and adaptable, so they are perfect for almost any kind of work. Their high intelligence and bravery are another positive character traits. And because they love to work so much, it's important to provide them with some work. And it doesn't need to be like the typical work in traditional meaning like guarding. You can try some dog sports with them. This way you will occupy both their mind and their body and you will have happy dog in your home. But they are not only amazing workers, these dogs live to please their owners which makes them amazing companions as well. When they are around their family they are totally affectionate, loving and playful. The black mouth curs are good companions for all the children who can actively play with them, but I would always supervise them with smaller kids. Because they love their family and owner so much, they are very often protective over them and they can be a little bit territorial as well. Their high courage makes them even better protectors, but normally in typical situations they are almost never aggressive towards other people or strangers. The high eagerness to please makes them highly trainable as well, but they are not recommended for novice or first time dog owners. They need consistent trainer, but since this is pretty sensitive dog, you should not be harsh on them. It's better to keep the training session short and frequent to keep dog's mind entertained. Do you think it's possible to confuse black mouth cur with Labrador Retriever? In the novel Old Yellow, the titular dog is a black mouth cur, but in the movie adaptation from the 1957, it was a Labrador Retriever and Mastiff mix who played the Old Yellow. The origin of the black mouth cur is rather unknown. It is believed and almost certain that they were developed in the southern United States, but the exact locations is disputed. Some people claim that they were developed in the Mississippi, while others claim that they were developed in the mountains of Tennessee. They were bred to be all-purpose farm dogs and they became quite popular, especially during the 19th century. Later, when the farm dogs were not needed that much anymore, they were used as hunting dogs and of course as family companions. And they can even be trained as service dogs, as you can see on this photo. The ancestry of the black mouth cur is unknown as well, but they were probably developed from various ancient European and Asian cur type herding and hunting dogs. They definitely share some similarities with other curs, for example the webbed feet, which are similar to Katahula leopard curs feet. Just like other working dogs that were never victims of overbreeding, this is very healthy dog breed. But of course even them are prone to some health issues. The most common are skeletal and eye problems, ear infections and epilepsy. The average lifespan is quite high especially for dog of this size. It's between 12 to 17 years. If you want to keep your dog healthy and happy, regular daily exercising and daily long walks are must. 
The grooming and overall maintenance is very easy. Only occasional brush is required to remove the dead hair and minimize the shedding, especially during the summer. Other than that, you should regularly check their ears for possible infections. Buffing should be done only when it's really necessary. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Black Mouth Cur and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram, Facebook, links are in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.